It says, come all who are thirsty, meaning if you're not thirsty, don't come. This invitation is not for the complacent. This invitation, this calling is for the desperate people. You're desperate, you're, you're dehydrated, and you're, you, there's this watering sensation in your mouth. And so if you read it again, it's, it's come the people who crave, the people who are desperate. This invitation is not for a complacent Christian. It's for someone who's in dire need. Psalm 42, verse 1 through 2, it says, As the deer pants for water, so my soul pants for you. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When can I go meet with God? Remember the days, you know, that when you first thirsted and you just couldn't wait to meet with God. Like where, you know, like you're just so, like you crave it so much that you just, you can't wait to just go read. You can't wait, you know, to just be alone with Him. I guess the question for this first part when it says, come all who are thirsty, what I ask myself is, how do you want God? And then it says, why are you laboring on what does not satisfy? The next question is, what are you doing with your time? Like, what do you spend your time doing? What are you spending your time on? And the things that you're spending your time on, does that really satisfy? Or is it going to leave you dry? Psalm 90, if you look at verse 5 and 6, it talks about us being people who are going to just waste away. We're going to come and go. We're that fragile. We're like grass. He describes us as grass. And then later in verse 12, he says, So number your days aright, that you may gain a heart of wisdom. Meaning, don't waste your time fiddling with this or just doing this or doing nothing. Come to me. The last two verses, we'll see it. It, it says this. So we just saw a bunch of things. It's, a, it's simple. It's just, hey, come to me. Come get from me. Or just come be close to me. And these are all, this is, what, this is what's going to happen. You'll be decked out like David. You'll be filled with water, food, milk, honey, and whatever you need. Your soul will delight in the riches of fair. And then he says this, verse 6. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he's near. Now please notice, while he may be found. This is how we know this is an opportunity. Now this opportunity, what kind of riveted me? was it could end tomorrow. This opportunity could end tonight. You don't know. The Bible tells me you and me are like grass. Don't waste your time. Like don't waste it. Don't waste all your investments. Don't waste every little bit of it. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. And then it says, let the wicked forsake his way and the evil man his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord. Mercy on him and to our God, for he will freely pardon. But I just want to close with that in verse 6. Like, do this while you have the chance. Don't waste your time. The only wrong time is next time if you're thinking about getting close to Jesus.